Hello again everyone, I'm back with another tutorial. This one is how to add a bleed to a PDF document uh, using Adobe Acrobat uh, Preflight. So in front of me here I have three different uh, files. Uh, first one is a business card that I've set up with a spot color. And then these two are photos or the raster images. And all three of these have no bleed. So if I open up this business card, uh, I chose a bright magenta background just so that it's easy to see the color. But if I look at the properties for this file, you can see my page size is three and a half by two. So if I wanna create a bleed, there's tons of different ways to do it. You can open it in Illustrator, InDesign, copy it. There's some programs out there that will automatically do this for you like uh, uh, Flexi or Onyx. Um, however, let's just say we want to do this in Adobe Acrobat. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open our pre-flight and we're going to click on our single fix up fi fix ups and here we're going to create a new fix up. So I'm going to call this, uh, let's see, uh, let's call it create bleed by mirroring image and under the comments we'll just say this will create a mirrored if I could spell right mirrored look to any page element and make it full bleed you can call this whatever you want whatever however you uh, want to name it just so you remember it but uh, this is what I'll call mine. So now here under the fix up category, we're gonna select pages. And then up here, we're gonna type in the word bleed. Now there's two different types of bleed that are built in to pre-flight. One is called generate bleed at page edges and one is called generate bleed by upscaling. Basically the difference between the two is this one is going to take whatever image is near the edge of the page and it's going to try to mirror that and create the additional bleed that you want. This one, the upscaling, will take the entire image and basically expand it out to fit to your bleed requirements. So in this case, since we're going to be mirroring the image, we want to go ahead and select this first one here. So <clears throat> there are a few different settings we want to change. Uh, under the method here, I'm going to change from images to page objects. Uh, for instance, in this case, this is not an image. This is an actual just uh, uh, fill, filled box. So I want to make sure that it applies to anything on the page. So we change that to mirror page objects. Uh, this stays the same. Repeat only to visible page content. This is in reference to if you want to ignore a certain uh, Pantone color or something like that maybe um, I, I don't know exactly what you would want to use it for but that's an option in there the resolution should always leave it at 300 dpi um, the color space you if you know for sure you're going to be using a CMYK or an RGB color space you can change this otherwise you can just use the default and then it'll automatically change it to CMYK if it's not uh, automatically detected uh, the other change I would do is select this to create the bleed behind the current page content just in case um, you have to edit it later. That way it's behind it, not in front of it, and doesn't cover up anything uh, by accident. Uh, you want to leave this on apply to all. And then the last area we need to go in here and configure some of these uh, settings. So if I check that box or click that box, this is going to be create a bleed box and then these numbers here are how wide you want to go ahead and create your bleed. So for me, I'm going to change it to inch because I use imperial and then I'm going to type in 0.125 which will give me an eighth of an inch bleed on all four left, bottom, right and edge or top edges. So that's everything here. There's additional settings and obviously 
you can change these to whatever you feel comfortable with or whatever you need for your specific need. If you're working in inch or uh, millimeters or you prefer using uh, points, that's fine. You can do that. Uh, just make sure that whatever you change to, you, you this is what your final settings are going to be for your um, document. So I'm going to click OK. You can see the, all these parameters changed. There's nothing else to change on this, and I'm going to hit OK. And so now I'm going to search in here, bleed, and this is the profile that we just created. So now if I click on this, or double click on it, it's going to prompt me to save. So I'm going to do underscore 2, and I hit save. And now you can see it's created a bleed in everywhere except for the corners. Now, if you want to make sure that the corners are also being uh, uh, generated as well, what we can do is we can go back in here and we can change uh, this setting. Let's see. This is ah, edges and corners. That's it. So here I had it selected so it's just the edges. So that's why you have these little white boxes. If we select edges and corners, then it'll get those areas as well. So let me go back in here to my original file. Close this. Open up my original file here. And let me double uh, click on that again. I'll just call this underscore three and now it will create it and now there's no white box and if I go up to my properties you can see now my page size is uh, no longer three and a half by two it's three point seven five by two point two five and what we've done is we've added the extra eighth of an inch to the outside to create the bleed so that is how to do it on a uh, document that has a spot color or um, vector elements so this is a uh, a vector box so that's how that works now let me show you on a, a photo here so I have an 11 by 17 size sheet and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna mirror the edge here to create our bleed so if I go back into pre-flight, I still have this open here. And I'm going to call this underscore 2. And I'll hit save. And you can see it didn't, didn't look, look like it did too much. But if I click on properties, you can see now this is 11 and a quarter by 17 and a quarter. And if I zoom in close, you can see what it's done is it's taken this part of the image and mirrored it to the outside. That's why you have kind of this weird area here that are that is going around the um, the outside of the image so here you don't really notice it too much because it's kind of a uniform uh, shape and color but right here you can kind of see it and that way um, uh, that way you can go ahead and just mirror this over and you don't distort any of the image here so now there's another way to do this if I click on this one here, this is a 5x5 five five photo. And let's say uh, I'm not really too worried about, um, or I don't like the look of that mirror that mirror look to it. So it'll, it'll create kind of some, some funky looking things like with the, the hills here, it will look kind of uneven. Um, or down here, it'll look a little uneven. So let's just say I want to take this whole image and I want to just increase the size so that it makes it um, an extra quarter inch and adds the bleeding. Well, if we go back into pre-flight, and I have, still have the word bleed selected here in my single fix-up, single fix-ups, there's uh, a default one in here called create 1.5 millimeter bleed by upscaling. So if I edit that, I look here under the pages. This is that other version that I could have selected uh, when I set up the other profile. So these these uh, settings here might be different by default it might be on millimeter and um, might be might say three or something else this is what I've changed mine to 
inch and 1.2 or 0.125 and then I'm going to apply this to all pages and I'm going to do a maximum distortion of uh, 5% so basically what that is going to do is it's going to take the image back here and it's going to essentially stretch it out to add the bleeding so if I hit hit OK come back in here double click and I'll just call this one underscore two and I'll hit save and you can see it didn't really look like it did too much but if I go into my properties it's no longer five by five it's five and a quarter by five and a quarter and you can see this by if I open up InDesign here I have the original um, photo placed in and if I come up here and place in the new one that I made you can see this one includes a bleed and it's a little bit distorted because it's a little bit larger than what the other one is if I move this to the back you can see this image has been stretched to fill this out I can do the same thing in uh, in design I can just expand out my boxes and then stretch this Im image out but by using the um, a pre flight in Adobe Acrobat, I no longer have to do that. This also is helpful if I have a long document with lots of pages that I need to add bleed to, or if you want to run it through with multiple images quickly without having to place them in the InDesign and drag them out, or in Illustrator, or in Photoshop. Um, you can do it in any one of the Adobe programs, but this way we'll do it much quicker then opening them up one by one and then expanding them out to make them fit. So I hope that's helpful. Um, please leave a comment down in the uh, comment section if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer. Please like, subscribe, share as always, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.